six months ago that the leader of the United Democratic Party, lawyer Osinu Dabo, accused the battle-led government of making plans to start rigging elections by allowing people from neighboring Senegal to register. The controversial claim has raised concerns among Gambians ahead of the national voter registration process which commenced on Saturday. Bidu Kamara, a UDP agent attached at Latakuna Savage Castle Patrol Station Voter Registration Center, says they have already started detecting malpractices in the voter registration process. Farmata Kasim has the rest of that. Voter registration is a fundamental element of the electoral process. It is that which enables a citizen of a particular country to exercise the freedom of electing their leaders. To be able to do that, one has to show willingness to have his or her name inserted in the voter register and after completing the process, a voting card is issued. To Bintu Kamara, one of the difficulties they are encountering as agents is the malpractice in voter registration process. We are encountering difficulties here because we caught a foreigner here who was issued a voter's card and that is not right. The election is meant for only the Gambian citizens. You should not vote in your country and also want to vote in someone else's country. That's an offense and that's above the law. This is one of the problems we are facing here. However, Fatou Silla, the representative of the National People's Party, contradicted that claim, saying everything was going well, but quick to acknowledge that the only problem they faced was a man that brought a forged Alcalo document. According to her, the man was asked to go back and bring the original document. If not, he won't be allowed. She said they are going to sensitize their communities about the voter registration. Each party is doing their work because we are going to each compound to sensitize both the youth and all about voter registration. Even though we are agents, we still call our people to come and get their voters' cards. I am here supervising. If I don't see anyone I know, I will pick up my phone and call to remind them about the registration. For me, I am doing my work as expected. Fatum Boj, one of the applicants, said even though the process is slow, it is worth the wait. She urged Gambians to come out in their large numbers to register as their vote is their voice. As we always emphasize that every Gambian should put the nation first. Even though we have other engagements, we should prioritize Gambia. We are asking all Gambians to step out of their houses and come out and register to show their patrioticness because our vote is our voice. The Independent Electoral Commission started registration to issue eligible Gambians with voters' card on the 29th of May and is expected to end on the 11th July 2021. The IEC said all applicants must have or will have attained the age of 18 by 4th December 2021 and must not be disqualified or disentitled from being registered or voting under any law. For iAfrica News, I am Fatou Matakasim.